Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're going to speak about Manchester United winning 3-0 against Charlton Athletic in the Carabao Cup. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Manchester United winning 3-0 against Charlton Athletic, putting us through to our third Carabao Cup semi-final in the past four seasons. But before me and Cappy give our thoughts on the game, it is time for question of the day. And with the Manchester Derby coming up on Saturday, 12.30pm UK time, here is the question I will bestow upon you. Who are the top three scorers for United in the Manchester Derby since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson? So ranked from one to three since September 2013. Let us know in the comment section below before the end of the episode. But let's get into the breakdown. Regarding the game, I thought at times it was an open affair. Charlton gave us the majority of possession, while most of the game was us shifting the ball, trying to find a bit of space for that forward pass. We had some joy with the diagonal ball from a central area, or relatively central area, to the wide man, whether it be in a centre back, mostly Maguire playing that ball out to Garnacho, or Malassi at times, who were recipients of it in the first half. And speaking of Alejandro Garnacho, he was absolutely electric at the start of the game for most of the first half, really. Every time he seemed to have the ball against Sean Clare 1v1, you just knew he had a good chance of getting past down the line, cutting back. He definitely was in fine form and just was missing the end product. He had mm, some yeah. shooting opportunities and he also had some chances where he could have crossed in the ball, but... Those attempts were either blocked or just dragged a little behind the person who was in the area. How about that goal from Anthony? Simply trademark FC. Corey Blackett Taylor gave him the time and space to pick the spot, take a couple touches and just whip that into the far corner. There were moments more so towards the end of the half where Charlton had counter-attacking opportunities and we committed numbers forward which meant that if they were able to get the final pass right on at least one of the occasions the whole landscape of the game would have been completely different but we got lucky at times and were able to take advantage of that later on. First and foremost, congratulations to Kobe Mainu and Facundo Pelestri on getting their debuts against Charlton. Kobe got his full debut starting today and Facundo came off the bench in the second half. It's pretty wild because I believe he's been here since 2020 and he's only just getting his debut now. But listen, hopefully it's the start for both of them, the start of a long and successful career at the club. And whenever you see the smiles on a young player's face, after playing for the club, especially at Old Trafford, it just makes you feel warm and fuzzy. But big ups to them both and the squad for getting it done most importantly. After focus on the man of the moment, Marcus Rashford, who comes off the bench late in the game to score two goals, seal the victory and warm himself up that Manchester derby if he wasn't warm already because best believe we're gonna need his goals we're gonna need everybody to be on point for that game and we focus on the games after when it's time to. Eric Ten Hag is all about focusing on a day-to-day -day basis working out how to overcome the obstacles of the current day and that will be integral in such a physically and mentally draining period where everybody has to stay laser focused. We'll find out a lot about this team as a whole and the individuals that make it up, win, loss or draw and either way, I'm here for it. Positive energy out there. Also quickly, one thing I did want to mention from Fabrizio Romano, we did see that United reached a verbal agreement to sign Wood Weghorst on loan from Burnley. By the time you're watching this video, it could be all finalised with the little things ironed out. So let us know in the comments how you think the Dutchman could improve our front line. But before we conclude this episode, 
Remember question of the day when it's time to reveal the answer. Roll the clip. Who are the top three scorers for United in the Manchester derby since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson? Here, like on the vid, subscribe to the channel if you respect the tweet. Now back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat. Don't question, question, time. question time! So, how did you fare in this episode's question of the week? Question of the day, Cappy, get it right! Stop fronting for the camera, big man. You could have told me that in real time. <laughs> We're gonna reveal the answer right here, right now. So number one, top of the list is Anthony Martial with five goals. Marcus Rashford is close behind with four. And in third, we have Paul Pogba, Juan Mata and Chris Morning all tied on two goals in a Manchester derby since September 2013. So if you got the answers correct, slap a one in the chat. If you use Google, slap a two in the chat. And if you didn't even bother, Slap a free in the chat. At least slap a free in the chat. But get involved next time, man. It doesn't hurt. It's all free. A nice bit of bragging rights in the comment section and the live chat. So get involved next time. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the end of this episode. Manchester Derby coming up on Saturday, 12.30 UK time. You know the spiel. CM is going to be there for the Stay United Watch Along. Live at 12.15 right here on the YouTube channel. So look out on Twitter. Link in the description. Click that link and follow on all socials, ladies and gentlemen. But let us know in the comment section below what you thought of the game and what you think and how you think the Manchester derby is going to go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your support. Be sure to drop a like, share to your friends and frenemies and subscribe if you're new. Until the next time, we'll see you a lot sooner.